Welcome to the Gene Keys. My name is Richard Rudd and I happen to be the first student of the Gene Keys and I put it that way because that's exactly what these teachings are all about. They're about learning from a higher evolutionary impulse that's imprinted throughout our universe. From the lowliest life form to the greatest galaxy in the heavens. In the words of a, a very great poet, a favourite of mine, Rilke, Rainer Maria Rilke, all of this is mission. That's what he said, all of this is mission. In other words, there's this unravelling thread that's built into life. And the Gene Keys are an exploration into that thread. And they're an adventure along this sacred thread. And the central premise of the Gene Keys is that we have inside us a hidden higher purpose and that this purpose is encoded in our DNA. It's in the substructure of our physical bodies. And I am talking about a higher purpose, not just the purpose of our lives as a vocation. So you may have been born to be a doctor or a mother or a mountaineer, but what's really underneath that role? In other words, what's the quality you bring to what you do? What's the quality and the texture of your consciousness? Every human being is a mystery. And we are literally a secret code because we're made up of code and all code contains a message. This isn't just a metaphor, it's actually literal. We are made up of this code, a secret message. We contain that as an essence. And the point of the Gene Keys is to unlock this code and to release your message your special essence, your genius, out into the world. And when you've touched the essence that's inside you, when you've unlocked the code, you're never quite the same again. And what you do in life suddenly seems much less important to you than how you do it. This is a very good thing to remember when we're thinking of our children. You know, well, when we think about our children, we worry about what's going to become of them in the future. And it's really important to understand that it's not so important what they do. It's important how they do it. What is the texture of our consciousness? So once the essence is awoken, the higher purpose of your life shines through. And suddenly everything seems so simple again. These big questions inside us, they don't seem so important anymore. And for the first time, probably in a long, long time, we begin to relax into being here, into just being who we are, without the worry of what we're supposed to do. This is the journey that the Gene Keys invite you into. And as you'll see, it's a voyage. It's a voyage of self-illumination. I'm going to begin this introduction to the Gene Keys by describing some of the key components of these teachings, as well as how they evolved and came about. Um, the Gene Keys is a synthesis, and it's evolved over the past 15 years in a mysterious but rather organic fashion. Um, I was always fascinated in secret knowledge. At university, I was studying uh, literature and philosophy, and I took another unofficial degree at the same time alongside in esoteric universal knowledge, I guess you could call it. And I studied all these different systems. And of all of them, the one I seemed to be most drawn to was the Chinese I Ching. And many of you will know the I Ching. It's a 5,000 year old text that essentially charts the seasons and cycles of change and life. And it has this very profound binary logic. And that's what's so startling about the I Ching, really, especially in recent years. It's this mathematics that's embedded in it because it's virtually identical to the genetic code. And when I saw that, it really got my attention because I realized that the I Ching truly does represent the code of life. Anyway, I began a long contemplation of the I Ching uh, through its hexagrams, as they're called, 64 archetypes um, that f forms the, the teaching itself. And I, I contemplated these over several years. And then one day, someone introduced me to another system, 
uh, called the human design system and uh, I was really interested in this because human design calculated uh, astrological positions from the time and place of your birth and combined them with the I Ching and this was quite astounding to me because it meant that you could now fix the code of life to a single moment of imprinting um, combining it with this ancient science of astrology which by the way I knew very little about um, so I became an early student of human design I studied with its founder a mysterious and fascinating man name of Ra Uruhu and Ra had a really deep grasp of the code and how it unlocked us as individuals and he gave the last 25th last 25 years of his life to teaching human design and he was a great man I personally owe him a lot um, because a great deal of my own insights are built upon the foundation um, that he built through his understanding so thanks to him um, as my understanding of these 64 universal archetypes that are the core teaching of the I Ching as they deepened I had another breakthrough I realized that these codes aren't actually fixed but that they fluctuate constantly according to our consciousness and so I adapted what I'd learned from human design and it became this it became the spectrum of consciousness and this is a map of all the major human states of consciousness divided into three levels which I call the shadow the gift and the city. So now with your birth time we could see specific patterns of consciousness that governed your life but these patterns were dependent on frequency. In other words if you had this sixth gene key for example then its low frequency manifests in your life as the shadow of conflict while its higher frequency its gift would be the gift of diplomacy so that's conflict transformed to a high level and then at its essence its highest frequency or its city is peace and peace lies as a latent gift within conflict itself in a way you could say that the higher purpose of conflict is peace but it moves through the the revelation of peace moves through the the understanding and the lesson and the education of the gift of diplomacy so as you'll see later on this table of the frequencies of consciousness is central to the understanding of how the gene keys work to bring about personal transformation. So now I had this table of frequencies I began to watch them in my life and in other people's lives and so the gene keys were born and this was an intense period when I wrote the gene keys book which was an extraordinary experience for me. I think quite a few writers uh, will understand this experience of a book that writes itself and this was certainly what I felt. I actually experienced these frequencies as I wrote um, from the shadow to the gift of the city and I think you can also experience them as you read it if you read it in a relaxed and an open state. And as I entered into this new world of high frequencies my mind uh, began to expand and it began to see things with incredible precision and clarity. It's like I entered the matrix or something and I saw these geometric sequences of gene keys that were born from my original understanding of human design and each time I saw a new sequence I'd teach it I'd, I'd teach it right away in the world and that was my way of of grounding it in the world and I I rarely repeated a course to the infuriation of quite a few people and for example here's the Venus sequence which really came as a kind of download for me in 2004 and it contains all the codes that we run in our relationships with their shadow patterns and the hidden evolutionary purpose that's behind them and then there was the pearl sequence which governs our relationship to the wider community and to money and prosperity and this is the activation sequence the simplest of the three but also which I understood the last and it's really the natural place where you can begin your journey into the gene keys so as each of these sequences came together they begun to click into each other and each of them really is a journey it's an experiential journey that's the thing to understand each one unlocks another part of your essence so in a way for me the finale the grand finale of my revelation those years of revelation they came 
it came when I saw how they all fitted together because I wasn't, I didn't see that. I just saw these parts. And then finally, one day they all came together and I saw how they were all woven as a part of a single journey of transformation and awakening. That was quite a day because <laughs> I realized that I was the last one to know. It was a bit of a joke, really. Um, so now it wasn't just a series of different journeys. Now it was a voyage, you know, an inner voyage. And this is what the Gene Keys are. This is what the golden path is. It's a voyage, a single golden pathway through your life, through your everyday life that leads to higher consciousness and leads to your higher purpose. So let's sum all that up, that little story of how the Gene Keys emerged. Um, the Gene Keys are 64 core genetic archetypes and they can fluctuate according to the frequency of our consciousness. So the Gene Keys are your map. And then through your time, your date, your place of birth, we can see the precise imprinting of the Gene Keys relating specifically to your life. That's your compass. That's what orients you in this space-time continuum and it encodes your destiny. And then finally, we have a series of gene keys that are unlocked in a grand sequence called the Golden Path. This is your voyage. It's an inner course, a kind of course in miracles, because it's an adventure into the nature of your own consciousness. So there you have it. The map, the compass, and the voyage. So now you know the tools. How do the gene keys actually work? What, how does this work? What do you have to do to tread this golden path? Well, first let me show you a scientific discovery that's been made fairly recently, which lies at the heart of how these teachings actually work. This image shows how we used to understand life. Most of us have grown up in a world where we were taught that DNA controls all biological life. And this is the theory that's called the primacy of DNA. So you can see here that the DNA code within the nucleus of the cell. And let's remember that this is in every single one of the trillions of cells inside our bodies. So scientists believed, and many still do, that your genetic code comes prepackaged and decides what proteins are built in your body and how they're built. And this is what determines your actions and your behavior. This is a determinist view of life in which consciousness is seen literally as a byproduct of programming. So you think, you feel, and you act the way you do because that's the way you're built and you can't change it. And in this scenario, a rather lifeless scenario, you're nothing but a victim of your genes. And here's the breakthrough. The new paradigm shows far more interaction with the environment. It's an open system. So here, the way we see and respond to our environment sends a signal back into the cell. And before it gets to the DNA, it's reprogrammed in this cellular membrane, which is a, a molecular switch. And then that message returns to the DNA, which then determines our behavior and actions. And it doesn't just determine our behavior. It determines our body and our physiology. So what we what we can see here in a nutshell is that our attitude to life is what actually programs our DNA and shapes our lives. And this new model is completely different from the old model. It puts consciousness first. So in other words, it's your consciousness that creates reality. And in this scenario, you get to wear designer jeans because you literally design your own destiny. So that's all I'm going to do with the science for now but it is of huge import for us all, this insight, that our DNA is packed with this unknown potential, and it's within our power to activate that potential simply through our attitude. So let's put this into practice. Let's take a gene key, and let's say this one is in a key position in your profile. You can see that the shadow pattern here is intolerance. So when you're running this pattern at a low frequency, then everything and everyone just gets in your way, gets on your nerves, and you end up pushing people away from you. It's not a comfortable situation. But when you activate this gene key at a higher frequency through a change in your attitude, you send a different message into your DNA, and it changes things inside you. 
your body fills with endorphins, you relax, your heart opens more. Suddenly the shadow of intolerance becomes the gift of understanding. You see, every shadow contains a gift. And if you live like this over time, then understanding becomes an even more powerful field. It becomes a kind of deep cosmic sense of forgiveness, what the ancients call a siddhi, a Sanskrit word meaning a higher, a higher manifestation of your essence, a divine gift, a kind of higher grace that surrounds you at all times, this forgiveness. And this is how the gene keys work. They help you to change the language that you're sending into your DNA and then the transformation moves through your life. It's very, very simple. It's all about frequency. Your attitude determines the frequency of the electrochemical signal that you send into the DNA. A low frequency generates a shadow pattern which makes you behave as though you were a victim, whereas a high frequency makes you behave in a self-empowered and creative way. The highest frequency signals lead to heightened states of consciousness like compassion, unconditional love, forgiveness that we mentioned. So the final part of this, and it's really the central technique of the Gene Keys, is called contemplation. It takes time to change the way you behave. You know, you can do it right now and you can see the result immediately, but at the same time, to reprogram a lifetime of low frequency tendencies takes some commitment. And in this modern new age arena, there are so many quick fixes promised. It seems everyone's looking for the quick fix because that's what our culture has become. But anyway, according to my understanding, life doesn't work like that, not quite. These things take time. And this is the voyage of the gene keys. This is what the golden path is all about. You take this simple teaching and you begin applying it to all areas of your life. That's what the Golden Path allows you to do. It allows you to contemplate the Gene Keys over a period of time. That's why it's such a big book. It's like going on a course, but without going on a course. You have to do the contemplation. It can't be undone by anyone else. And to contemplate something, it is about absorbing digesting, applying and embodying a truth. The central truth of these gene keys that I've just outlined. So it couldn't be simpler. But how to apply it is another question. So the golden path gives you a framework to follow. It helps you to keep the gene keys close. You have to absorb this teaching mentally at first. And then after a while you as you understand it, you begin to take it in emotionally through your relationships. And finally, it begins to dawn inside you at a physical level. It becomes imprinted in your living DNA. This is the process of deep contemplation. You allow it into your life, into your inner life. It's for the most part a private journey because it's a journey into your essence. And as you tread the golden path, your golden path, the gene keys become your guide. And it's not just the book. The book's just the delivery mechanism. The signal is a habit that you have to imbibe over time. But if you stay with it for long enough, it can really transform your life onto another plane. That's the power of simple contemplation. It's an ancient path, but one that's for the most part been forgotten. It's not the same as meditation, and it's not concentration. It's in the middle of those techniques. It's more playful in a way. It's really suit suited to our modern lifestyle because you can contemplate something anywhere, doing anything. It's alive inside you at work, at rest, with the kids, doing the dishes. And it's easy. You just remember it when you remember it. And whenever something hurts inside you, physically, emotionally or mentally, that's the most powerful reminder. Inside every shadow hides a gift. That's the great truth of the Gene Keys. So I hope I've given you an outline of what the Gene Keys are all about and how we can absorb their wisdom into our everyday lives through the technique of contemplation. So let's just recap what we've covered. The Gene Keys are an evolving synthesis of living wisdom and their central purpose is to unlock the essence that's inside us and to release that into the world as a sense of higher purpose. 
we've seen that the code can be personalized through your hologenetic profile, which describes a series of journeys you can take with the gene keys, applying them to your everyday life. This is the golden path, and it's a voyage of ongoing contemplation. The result of taking this journey is that you can actually raise the operating frequency of your DNA by a dynamic shift in your attitude. And this comes about through fully embracing and understanding your shadow. That's those repeating patterns in your life that cause you the most suffering. The shadow then reveals its hidden gift and it takes your life onto a whole new level of consciousness. Sounds simple, doesn't it? The concepts are basically sound. Some people might have a hard time with the idea of connecting birth time with cycles of imprinting in genetics. It's fair enough. I have a hard time sometimes with that one. But when you come to understand life in a different way, as a holographic uh, cosmos, you know, the nature of the universe as holographic, suddenly it begins to make more sense. You know, because the Gene Keys aren't just about concepts, they're about adventure and inspiration. This is an inner voyage. And there's one final insight I'd like to share with you, and it's something more mysterious. It's something outside the domain of science and logic and systems. And it's what I call the transmission. Because every new mystical teaching that comes into the world carries with it a certain flavor, a texture, and it arrives at exactly the time when it's needed. That's just universal choreography at work. In um, Tibetan culture, they have a deep understanding of sacred teachings. They call it the terma, which means the treasure. And termas come into the world through certain messengers at certain times in history. And their purpose is always to elevate the frequency of consciousness in some way. And there's also a tradition that the terma is not just a teaching, but has embedded within it a hidden essence, a spiritual... Mm, I hesitate to use the word magic, but we're dealing in mysteries here let's call it a grace and and this is the transmission i call it the transmission it's as though the teaching is a trigger and when it's recognized at a cellular level it triggers a code that's been waiting inside us dormant it's a sense of recognition that lies between a student and the teaching itself and to me the jinkies are a tamer they're a treasure they're here to trigger this sleeping giant inside each of us that's those of us who are drawn to listen to them. And this is, I find, a very personal part of the journey. Your essence is really beyond words. And the words of the Gene Keys transmission all point you towards that wordless essence. But here's the deepest revelation of all. That all systems have built-in flaws. They can only be a finger pointing to the moon, but not the moon itself. They can't be the thing itself. Therefore, they have to be entered into lightly, because life is a mystery. No system can touch the wonder of that. So I ask you, please, not to get caught in these teachings. Just enjoy them. Let them have their way with you. And when they're done, and you're done, you let them go. So when you begin to enter into contemplation of the Gene Keys, and you treat them as a treasure, as a tama, as you would treat your own essence, then your voyage through, through them is likely going to be filled with magic and mystery. Contemplation is a gentle path. It's a quiet and private path. It points you deeper into your aloneness, into the vast inner reaches of the mystery of your life. And you take it into your life, in your way, as the transmission unfolds inside you, showing you how best to use it. All this is mission. The Gene Keys are an open system with a generous spirit. And if you're interested in these teachings, I'd like to offer you a warm welcome and wish you well on the journey ahead.